Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to look at my attacks on Gear Heart. So guys, Gear Heart was harder than I first expected. She is uh, level 90 and she's the same base for everyone, which I don't think is a little fair. Like, I think little level low players should have a little easier base. I, I This is what I think, guys. I think the base should be the same, but it's just a percentage of health on it that's the same. So... We're just gonna jump into my attacks that I did. They were some. I'm. Let's just say, guys. Next time, I'm gonna be using warriors. I'm gonna see what warriors is like, guys. Um, there was 500,000 health. Oop, screen just turned. 500,000 health on the HQ. So warriors would have been hard to do with it. I would have needed to boost up a lot. And the bad thing about using warriors is you have to go to the back of the base. So that would take up like almost all your energy by just flaring. But you have to boost up your gumbo energy and then try. So, the good thing about this, guys, is I boosted up my statues for three hours. And each new strategy that I tried without gymming, I was able to get in. And I still have 20 minutes left on my boost. And my voice is cracking a lot. So, my first attack on this, I gained one marshmallow thingy. <laughs> it's a diffuser or a fuse fuse activator or something like that. I used Rifleman, Hookah, um, Zuka, Rifleman, Zuka, and Medics. So, my... Riflemen are, are, are only level 16, my my medics and my zookas are top level. I was wondering what I should say, medics or zookas, um, at the same time. So, I did not boost up my statue for this one. I boosted up all my statues, but I didn't boost up my guardians, that's what I mean. So let's just view the battle. You'll see later what I mean by that. So this is a very hard base, guys, look at that. And see how far away it is from the short? Like, it takes forever. So I started out doing something very dumb. I wasted about half my energy on the shock launchers. I thought I could take them out, but I couldn't take them out. Okay, so, let me slow down a little. I placed all my troops on the beach here. Let's speed it up. I placed all my troops on the beach here. These rocket launchers are in range. I, to be honest, guys, I didn't even see the rocket launchers, so I was pretty much, like, ugh, when I saw. They were hitting my troops. They were killing my troops. My riflemen are almost all dead. My riflemen are pretty much all dead on my whole left side. So I did a reflare, try to get those riflemen back. I placed a couple critters up there to it, it helped a lot, guys. It helped me take down some more, some more of those buildings. And I did not get I did not get that much energy from this this one. So I retreated because I only had medics left, and let's jump on to the next attack. So overall I gained I gained, I can't remember what I gained. I think I gained like 20, no, like, I, I can't remember, guys, I can't remember. Um, let, I, I'll do this, let me see the base. Okay, I got over 10, I got over 10, so I think I got like 17 or something on it, um, but yes, so let's go back to, I wish when you clicked this, it goes immediately to this screen. Um, that way you could you could easily nav navigate between which ones you want. Okay, my next attack, I use Scorchers and Tanks. Um, I wanted to see how the strategy would go, and since I was using this strategy, I boosted up my Guardians. That's why I have 130% gumbo energy. So let's view the base. They're both pretty, uh, my Scorchers are low level, my Tanks are level 10. So, level 10 is good though, guys. Okay, so I'm placing my tanks and my scorchers on the right hand side. I'm just trying to get rid of all those cannons there and we'll see how I do. So my scorchers are faster, so my scorchers are going in first. Um, you see here that my scorchers are moving into the base. They're tanking, but look at that DPS damage per second. It is tearing down my scorchers. Um, scorcher is dying, dying, dying. All my scorchers are dying. Um, they did a good job of tanking, and my tanks, if they were higher level, I would have done a lot more damage to this base. Maybe if I used, like, Scorchers and Zookas, that would have been nice, too. But, as you see here, I have one Scorcher left and a lot of tanks. So, I placed on uh, some critters to kind of distract some of the boom cannons for a little bit, which did help a lot. So, let's speed this up a little, just because we need to, like... Just a lot of tanks just doing dumb stuff, and as you see, that last tank didn't do anything. So, that's that battle. I got 23 off my second second attack. And what I found funny, guys, is every YouTuber I've watched that's done this, that's done this, and my task force, after the second attack, we've all had like 22, 21, 22, 23, or 24. And, um, 
I need 24 gears there. So I wish it told you when you viewed this, it, tell, it tells you like how many gears you got from that attack. But I think that's something they'll add in the future, just because I think it's a good idea. So this last attack, I I looked at the base, okay guys? So let me just speed this up a little, and like look at the base here. Speed it up to the end, and it might be kind of boring for you guys to watch this all over again. But we're going to speed this up to the end, and you're going to see that we still have all this area we have to destroy right here. And boosted up statues there with that special new protocol, prototype building that boosts them up. And that rocket launcher has like 50,000 health, and there's no way. Like, you could see over this very faded screen that those... I still have boom cannons, shock launchers. It would have been e a, a little easier of something to of a decision to make if the boom cannons were taken out. So I kind of did what another YouTuber did, and I decided to go down at the bottom of the base to just take out, just to get the 40, the 40 gears, so I could uh I could get the extra resources. And as you saw, guys, I got a million wood and 500,000 stone and a lot of people wouldn't get the same amount but i have boosted up statues and i have a lot of resource reward statues so that's why i got that 500,000 stone helped a lot because you don't find people at my level my victory point level 500,000 stone so i pl i played some critters guys it i didn't i did not realize how much energy i had here i had about over i had over 100 energy here and i was just not doing anything with the energy like i was just like not doing anything, and you'll see later, I finally realize, like, how much energy I actually have, and you'll see how, what I do with it. Uh, so my troops are moving into the base, I have, I'm almost out of 40 gears, and some of these buildings are taken down, and I'll get 40 gears from one of these buildings. Um, so as you see, I finally realized, I just probably placed in med kits and bombs, and I placed four med kits down, that's how much energy I had, guys. Um, but as you see here, I got my 40 gears, so I got the, I got the resources, but I think a nerf has to be done on this, guys, because this is way too hard. <laughs> um, this is, like, impossible. I maxed out players, very bit trying it. I think Boot Tramp, he went down here and around the base to the left side. I tried the right side. This base is pretty much undefeatable. I don't think anybody will defeat it this time. Um, I do think they test it though. I do think Supercell tests it and maybe has a statues boosted up or something on their game developer pads and actually see if it's possible because if it's not even possible, they wouldn't bring it out, I don't think. But that's my overall theory. I got one little diffuser. I got more from Dr. Terror than that. And um, uh, one quick note, guys Dr. Terror, I. I did not realize, like, every base you attack, you have a chance of getting it. I think it's very little percentage that you'll get it. Like, it's probably, like, 1% that you'll get one. And I got two in a row, so that's how awesome I got, how lucky I got. So, guys, um, my, uh, weapon lab is going to be finishing in eight hours, and I have a ton of resources, as you see, and I just don't have anything to spend it on. Critters are going to level 2, but that's it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>